Hey guys, Mike here. We want to do a little video for you guys today about the torque leverage tool. We wanted to explain to you guys how to use it on both drums, rotors, four lug, five lug, and flywheels to get the proper torque measurements uh, for your car. So uh, we're going to do a little over shoulder recording today so you guys can see how to apply the torque to the tool so that the gears meet correctly uh, without skipping teeth. Okay, so you guys will notice when you open your package, you're gonna have a plate, a torque arm, two gears, and cotter pins and washers. Uh, we've already got the plate assembled here. Uh, the lug nuts are tightened as if you would have a wheel on there just to keep the plate secure to the brake assembly. Um, the gears they give you, uh, the small one is for six volt flywheels only. The large one is gonna work on 12 volt flywheels and on the brake plate. The torque arm here has a table on it. You'll notice 25 foot-pounds at the small nut will give you 225 foot-pounds at the large nut. 30 foot-pounds at the small nut gives you 270 foot-pounds at the large nut. It also has two different sides depending on what you're doing. Tall side is for flywheels, short side is for brakes. And I'll show you how to assemble that now. So you're gonna take your regular gear here, you can put the washer on, slide it into the assembly, install the cotter pin. And then you're going to put it on the nut, make sure the teeth line up inside the gap, and you're good to go. So we've had a couple of guys uh, complain that when they torque their assembly, the gear skips teeth, or uh, it's it's just not working out for them right. Well, you'll notice when you're if you pull your wrench this way, it's going to want to pull the assembly away from the plate, and it's going to want to skip teeth, right? So you always have to make sure that the leverage you're giving your torque wrench is gonna be pulling the gear down and into the plate as you tighten. Okay, and on the flywheel, it'd be the same thing, except you're gonna turn the assembly around so that the deep side for the gland nut is in position. Just make sure that the same thing, you make sure your teeth line up and you go ahead and stick it together and do your torque. Okay guys, that's how you use the tool. Uh, just keep in mind that when you're torquing your rear axle nut, you want to aim for around about 250 foot-pounds uh, or until the cotter pin holes are lined up with the castle nut. Remember, you always want to go tighter to get the hole lined up, never go looser. Uh, you'll also notice that the pleat has two patterns in it, five bolt patterns and four bolt patterns. You can just use your stock lug nuts to hold that guy together. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the video. You guys have a nice day.